picked up the red shoes. <coughs> At 14, flat-footed, I hankered for heels. Taught lean spires so high your head would reel and your arches saw gothic style out of the mire of teenage years. Whole afternoons in the high street, just to peer in shop windows, hours to adore the merchandise inside. Pure power, I suppose. Dreams of divahood, of auras acquired and wielded impurously over local boys. <laughs> then one day, joy, I saw the perfect pair. Red they were, like the lips of a whore. Red was my colour, though you'd never have guessed it then. Hot and raw, like the tight, hard wall of fire inside my head. I knew my mother would refuse. No way, she said. What you need is a good, strong pair of sensible shoes. <laughs> it was a real shame. My reds darkened to blues. I buried my flame nursing it with bile, as one might nurse a wound or a bruise, and it grew intense. Meanwhile, in lace-ups, I waited my chance. <laughs> when finally I did start to dance, I couldn't stop. Deprived for so long, the fire had grown too wild, too strong. Night after night, I haunted every club in town, and raved and shimmed and boogied on down till dawn. And even when all worn I trailed home to bed, the plutonium burned on. Still I danced, red with rhythms and lights. Till finally I awoke, fathoms down in the afternoon, pale and mild. I started to fail, grew thin. My skin turned rough and dry. In the end, it was the child that made me see enough was enough. Something had to go, but God, was it tough. How would you like it if you had to cut off your main power supply? But eventually the shoes were packed off to Oxfam <laughs> for some starving Somalian who'd rather dance than eat. And then I settled down to middle age in robes. <laughs> Yesterday, I was surprised when my mother phoned, concerned, it seemed, by the general sagging of my soul. Get a haircut, she advised. New clothes. These days there's so much to choose. And I'm sure you'd feel much better, dear, if you got yourself a nice little pair of elegant high heels. <laughs> <laughs>